Hey guys, so today I want to take a quick look here at the iPhone 4S uh, iOS, iOS 8 Beta 5 update here. Uh, so I got a request, they wanted me to check it out, so um, why not let's uh, wanna do it. So you can see here iOS 8 and you can also see I can't update anymore. Up to date, sweet. So first of all, you do have this, let's check out speed first. Still, okay, this one, this new spotlight is still definitely a little bit slow here on the um, on the iPhone 4S. Also, here you can see it was a little bit slow first time I brought it down. I can also feel that it's a little bit laggy here in the menu. But hey, this iPhone is getting older, so I'm not that surprised. Here, I guess it's uh, pretty okay. But you can definitely feel that it's it's getting slower. But it's definitely usable. Uh, you do have this new iCloud icon, I guess, in here. Yeah, iCloud here, new icon. I think that's a new icon. Uh, body data icon also in the health app should be um, updated and uh, data export something you should be able to do in uh, there we go to health data uh, you should be able to export data uh, from he from um, this health app uh, other devices should also be able to access sms and prompt you with a message if you want that uh, we do have icloud photo storage which should be able to now save full store full full Resolution pictures, but optimize pictures on your iOS device. Uh, and as I said, spotlight speed should be a little bit snappier, definitely. But uh, yeah, it's nice. It's a little bit snappier. Uh, what else do we have here? We do have uh, something with health, hmm, privacy. What was that? What was that? What was that? Privacy. I don't know. Uh, predictive text toggle when you are in messages here. Let's just bring it up. So, should be able to hold in here, and you can see you have a quick toggle here for predictive text. My bad. Sweet. So that one is also working. T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling should stand up here if you are having that care in the US and using Wi-Fi calling. Display and brightness should be moved here. Yes, to display and brightness area instead of being in the wallpaper section. So that's a good little thing there. Spirometry data should also be inside of the health app right now. And that measure measures lung function and they're probably most for old people, but can definitely be good there to know. Uh, but um, I might do more videos with iOS 8, this new beta, if uh, people are interested. Uh, but yeah, just a quick little look here on the iPhone 4S. Hopefully you did enjoy. Peace out.